Good morning, Prophet Seekers, and buenos dias from España. Now, I'm going to start this video today with a little tour of the apartment that I'm staying in currently. This is uh, my friend's apartment, it's a friend's family apartment. So, I did, I'm going to do, I am, this is part of the promotional video that I'm going to put together for them. So, because they're family friends, they gave us a really nice rate on the place, it's wonderful here, as you could probably see. So, here is a tour of the apartment. Now, why have I showed you this wonderfully edited, beautiful piece of footage? Um, that is because I'm starting a new company uh, and I'm already in the process of doing it right now. So, just a little story and a background to that. The company is going to be a digital content marketing company. So, I am going to be creating content and marketing it on social media for small businesses in the local area and maybe stepping up to bigger businesses in the near future. So not only is that promotional video kind of to say thank you to my family friends for allowing us to stay here at such a cheap rate, but also it's a learning experience to, for me to be able to improve my video editing skills and uh, just generally put together some content to share with potential new clients as to the, the quality of the, the material that we're going to be bringing forward. So, digital marketing. Why digital marketing? I've been thinking about this for a very long time and it's when I was working at Argos head office, as I mention often, and I do bring it up a lot, but that's because I learned a lot whilst I was working there. And the main job that I had to do when I was there was managing the promotional marketing plans for the ranges that I was working in. So it started off in tablets, so like iPads and like Samsung tablets and working with those big brands, developing promotional strategies and then implementing them. And we brought a lot of money away from the, the classic Argos like print advertising, aka like flyers and the catalogue. We started moving that money more towards digital. And I found it fascinating and to be honest that was my biggest strength was putting these plans together and targeting customers in the right way. So I thought, I've thought for a long time that I wanted to, this construction noise is still happening so you know. That's from that direction this time, that wasn't even there before. Ah. <laughs> anyway I'm going to power through. So. Uh, the digital marketing was the area that I found really enjoyable when I was working at Argos and it's where I draw a lot of my strengths. So I thought, let's do that one stage further and create my own company. Now let's start a little story. I've been thinking about doing this for probably over a year. Um, I just haven't had a chance to get around to do it. So I've started my reselling business, I'm growing it, uh, I'm putting things in place so I can step away from that and spend more time looking at other things. Um, one of those other things is a digital marketing company. But sometimes things just align, you need a bit of a kick up the bum. 
for things to start. Now, I mentioned in a previous video how um, June was one of those pivotal months for me where just everything just came into place. Um, I started um, working with my friend Joe from uni and he's sort of, he's managing sort of the northern operations of this business. I've trained my warehouse to ship pallets for me, ship my stock for me, thus freeing up, freeing up me more time to look at these new business avenues. Because I'm a big fan of putting processes in place uh, so you can remove yourself from the day-to-day -day operations of your business and think more strategically. So that's where I was going with that. Now that that's in place, the other thing that happened in June, which was a real sort of turning point for my business, was the fact that I met my new business partner. And I didn't realise it, but I'd met him a long time ago. So I was just drinking one of my local drinking establishments, sort of like a classy cocktail bar near me, bumped into this chap and we started talking business. And it turns out what he'd done is he set up his own drop shipping businesses. Now if you guys aren't aware about what drop shipping is, drop shipping is where you create a website, a UK based website, <clears throat> and you fill that website with products. But then you find those products cheaper abroad. This is the, like the, the pure basis of retail, but you just don't touch the products. So you've got your website here with your products, somebody clicks and buys it over here, and then you order that product from China and get that shipped, and you make a margin in the process. So this chap that I bumped into in the bar had started his own uh, dropshipping company. I think he set up six websites. But I'm going to uh, bring him onto the channel to tell us a little bit more about how he's done that and what he's done. But that, in essence, was very interesting to me. So I thought I said to him, I gave him my business card. I said, let's go for a coffee at some point. So at the start of June, uh, I got a text. And I've met him like six months before. I haven't thought anything of it. And after that text... Uh, went and for, we went for a coffee. So we sat down in Costa, I told him about my business, he told me about his, and um, towards the end of the meeting he went, I want to start a digital marketing company. And I said, me too. So we shook hands there and then, we actually shook hands there and then, I said, let's do it, let's go create a company. I loved his fire, he liked my fire, um, we just put those fires together and created a bonfire, I suppose. <laughs> so that was that I mean and that was at the start of June and now we're at the start of July and we've already made great steps into getting this company set up we've already discussed business structure we've discussed the strategies how we're gonna get clients what we're gonna do what we're gonna provide and yeah we've made really big steps in one month so super happy about that so that promo video that I made is going to be part of the offering that we provide as a digital marketing company. It's going to be a digital content marketing company where we can develop the content with the brands and then be able to provide that, whether that be for local businesses in the area or for, for sort of medium-sized companies or... Do you know what would be the dream? If I did that promo video so well that people paid me to come and video their villas. Can you imagine that? And people paying for my plane ticket and going out and filming these villas and doing the promotional materials. That would be the dream, um, but that's a long way down the line. We've got to start with the basics, get the basics right, get the uh, promotional strategies through social media nailed, um, get processes together whereby we can sit down on a two-weekly or monthly basis with these, with these brands and these businesses, developing content strategies. And I think it's a really exciting business to be in, and it is the future. So this is me looking to the future. The internet provides us with so many opportunities these days, and this is just one avenue that I haven't yet to explore. So, part of the reason I'm here on YouTube is to practice developing the content. Um, obviously, I'm sharing the story with you guys, so you can take these learnings as I go. So, developing the content, pulling together a social media marketing strategy for my business. If you looked at one of the previous videos, Facebook gave me some advertising spend. I used that through Instagram to drive traffic, and that's how I gained my first 60 subscribers to this channel. And I will go back in and analyze those analytics from that advertisement and share it with you at some point. But I think it's just all very exciting. I think we live in an amazing digital age, and I really, really want to be on the forefront of what opportunities the internet can provide and afford people in the business community because I know for a fact it was so much cheaper to advertise digitally when I was working for big retail than it was to do through print. You know, a newspaper ad costs a lot of money. You could pay 20 grand to get into the Daily Mail for you know, a third of a page somewhere in the middle of the 
you know, somewhere in the middle of the newspaper. If you're going to go on TV, you're talking like 100 grand, depending on what time you put it on. Obviously, there's like prime time and there's not. But yeah, it's expensive. Whereas digital, the traction we got was just incredible. So, you know, when I speak to these clients, I'm selling the dream, but it's, it's all founded in like genuine knowledge that's backed up to say that this actually works. So super excited to get this business rocking. So I thought I'd just share with you guys and I'll give you updates as we progress along with this new firm. We've got a name, we've got a logo, we've got a website. Well, we've not got a website yet. We're building the website now. We're just writing the content to go into the website. Then following that, we need to set up our social media channels. Um, we're gonna develop specific YouTube content talking about digital marketing that we're gonna go and pro and push. Um, so when these things come about, I'm gonna share them with you and you can go and follow those if that's something you're interested in. But yeah, this you know I'm documenting the journey and this is my first stage, so I thought it'd be a nice time to talk about it with you because I've got a little bit of downtime here, I'm just kind of chilling, um, and it's given me a lot of time to think and strategize and see where I'm gonna go next with this business. So that's it really, story time, new business. Um, so I'm going to keep practicing creating more of this promotional video content. I think I might start offering it out um, as a standalone business. Um, doing promotional videos is a is a quite a lucrative thing to do. It takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of skill, um, which I'm trying to harness. Mostly probably doing these YouTube videos. It gives me that sort of like editing practice. But it's it's a very time time consuming process to be able to edit a good like promotional video. So. Yeah, I just thought I'd take the opportunity whilst I'm here and got a bit of downtime to do uh, to do a little promo video of the villa or apartment as it is. And it's so beautiful here, it's going to be very difficult to not make it look great. So I'll be giving that out to the family friends as just to say thank you. They don't even know I'm going to do it. Um, they might not even want it because they might just be renting it out to, to sort of like friends. But if they ever did want to advertise it online or digitally, I've developed the content for them to go and do it. So in a way, I'm just kind of saying thank you. And it's also taught me a lot about the whole video editing process. So when I finish the, the full promo video, I will share it with you guys. I've just shared you a few sort of uh, clips as to what it's going to look like. But once, once it's all there, there might be a voiceover involved Probably not mine, because as soon as you start YouTube, you do begin to realize that you sound and look like crap. So probably won't be using my nasally horrible voice. So yeah, that's my news, guys. That's the new business. So I will keep you updated. I'll take you along with the journey as it goes. If you're enjoying my journey, please like and subscribe to the channel. Or consider subscribing if you're not already. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.